Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont, and today I'm going to show you how to ship something to Amazon FBA Fulfillment Center uh, via Amazon Seller Central, and actually not just ship one item, but two different items. So here is my Amazon Seller Central. Um, this is my FBI, F, Manage FBA page. And you can see I have quite a few products, and some of them are getting quite low. So where's the one that, yeah, so this is one of them. Um, this, this particular product, five generation pedigree charts, so we're gonna send that one. And then there's another one down here, this one. You can see there's only 21 left in uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center. This other one only has 12 items left. So we really need to send some in. And actually I would have done this sooner, but I just, um, Amazon recently alerted me to this issue. So anyways, you select each one using the checkbox on the left. And then you go to the top and there's a drop down menu. It says action on two selected, select, Send Replenish Inventory. And it says you've selected these two listings. Yes, continue. Okay. It'll be brought to this page. Um, when I come to this screen and I'm putting several different items in the same box, I always choose this, this particular option, Individual Products. And click Continue to Shipping Plan. And you'll be prompted to tell them how many units you're gonna be shipping. Okay. So they give recommended quantities, and if you want to, you can do this, but you can also uh, send in what you have available or what you've prepared. And in this case, I've already prepared a certain number of items, so I'm just gonna use those numbers right there. So one of them, I'm sending in 70. And for this one, I'm sending in 10. And by the way, these are already packed. The box is has been weighed, so we know exactly how many are going in right here. Um, hit continue. All right, so a couple things to pay attention to here. One is where it's shipping from. Uh, I have multiple addresses, but in this case, it's gonna be shipping from this particular uh, plant, it's a manufacturer. And then there's some questions about um, the product in terms of who preps. And this question relates to whether or not additional preparation is needed for the product and some products Maybe they contain materials that are hazardous or need extra attention, such as batteries. Um, maybe they don't have a UPC, uh, a UPC code on them yet, in which case either you can put them on yourself or you can ask Amazon to do it. But regardless, uh, I'm gonna sec select merchant. So I'm doing this, what needs to be done, which is actually nothing. Uh, for this particular product, there's no prep is needed. It already has the UPC code on it. It's already packaged. It's all set to go. For this other one, again, no product needed. And you can see here are the types of things they're looking for. So if you have a product with any of these issues, liquids, um, fragile glass, baby products, so those are those need special attention. You, you should by now already know from Amazon what you need to do for that. But in my case, these products, they do not have such requirements. So I say no prep needed. Choose. Okay, continue. All right, all products must have a barcode. Mine do. Um, so I don't need to go through this whole thing again. It says item labels are not required for the products in your plan. That's because I think somewhere along the line, I told Amazon they already have them. And by the way, if you don't have UPC codes or barcodes on your product, Amazon can apply them for you. Uh, they don't, it doesn't look really good, but it's cheap. I think it's maybe 15 cents or 20 cents. You check with Amazon to see what the prices are. Anyways, click continue. So it'll turn through this. Uh, it'll say there's two uh, manufacturer SKUs here. Now, this is interesting. It's actually asking me to split up the shipment, which is a little bit um, problematic for me because <laughs> we've already packaged it up. So in this case, what I would do if that, if that um, continued, would I would actually have to repackage them in order to go to this particular, go to this particular shipment. I can see, however, that um, one of the one of the particular boxes it's only one SKU and it has six units in it. This is the one going to to Houston. Um, so you know you have to balance a couple things here. These products are actually pretty low cost products. So for me to ship something to ship six units to Houston, it's actually uh, not too convenient for me. Um, it, the cost of this, I'll, I'll be losing money on this, maybe depending on how heavy the package is. Um, one thing you one thing I've discovered you can do if if you don't want to be shipping to two different uh, fulfillment centers, you can go back 
and you can change you can change the amounts that you've that you've set up. Um, and sometimes if you increase or decrease them, Amazon uses some sort of you know algorithm or machine learning uh, service to determine where the product should be shipped. And sometimes it'll 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 basically uh, compact everything just to a single um, fulfillment center. And for me, I usually just send to this one. So this is something that I may want to uh, con consider doing. So then what it's then what it asks you to do, it asks you to go through and work on each shipment. And maybe in this case, what I'll do is I'll just work on this, uh, this one shipment that's going to Florence here, and I'll deal with the other one later on. Okay, review shipment contents. Um, you can review and mo modify your unit quantity here, you can only change quantity by 5% or six units. That actually works out pretty good for me. If you want to add more or new products to your shipment, you must duplicate the shipment or create a new shipment. Any quantities entered below beyond the allowed range may be subject to additional placement fees. Um, we recommend not packing and sealing your boxes until you've provided box content information in this part of the workflow. So that's actually a mistake I made. Um, don't seal your boxes yet or don't pack everything yet. But the, but the problem is sometimes packing actually takes a long time. So you want to get that out of the way. So maybe the lesson here is don't seal your boxes until you're sure you're, you're going to be where you're going to be sending them. And you won't know that until you go through this whole process. So um, for what, actually, let's do that now. Review and modify units. Uh, I am going to change this to 10. Okay, let me do that. This is actually what I have in the box right now. So there's a couple different shipping methods you can choose here. I'm always small parcel delivery. It's usually just a couple boxes. Some people, though, they do shipping shipping uh, pallets, and in that case, they'll be checking the uh, LTL, less than truckload. Um, I always use the Amazon partnered carrier, but in some cases, maybe um, you don't have any, you don't have a UPS drop off point, or they don't they don't do pickups where you are. You can cho choose the uh, postal service. So I'm doing small parcel delivery, Amazon partnered carrier. If you want to, you can share a shipment with your your manufacturer. Uh, how will this shipment be packed? Everything in one box. <clears throat> okay. Box weight. So what I'm going to do, I know the box weight is 23 pounds. It's basically 12 by 10 by 14. Hit confirm. Your box information has been successfully uh, submitted. Okay. Now this is the interesting thing. Shipping charges. The shipment weight is 23 pounds, and if I ship this on my own via UPS, I'd probably be, be paying with um, insurance maybe between 20 and 25 dollars. I found that the through Amazon Seller Central, Amazon FBA shipments, if you use if you take take the UPS option, that's from up here, Amazon Partner Carrier, they get a huge discount. So let's see how much it's going to be. Yeah, seven fifty five. So that's like one third the cost of what it would be if I tried to get this on my own. I agree to the terms and conditions. And then it says, all right, you can print them out. So I'm ready to go here. Um, I'm just going to click this button to print the box labels. There's instructions on where you stick the, the labels. Interestingly, it's not uh, this. This only appear, started appearing at the beginning of this year used to be I just put the labels on the top of the box next to the tape. I don't do that anymore because it basically wants me to put on the FBA. There's two There's two stickers you're going to get when you print this out. Uh, one of them is the FBA label. The other one is the UPS label. They're side by side on the side of the box. So that's the way that I do all that stuff right now. So anyways, basically, um, once I print the box labels and hit complete shipment, my, my job is done. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of uh, Amazon FBA, Amazon Seller Central, Shopify, uh, even selling on WordPress, I have a whole bunch of free videos and uh, blog posts. Go to leanmedia.org uh, to check them out. Thank you so much for watching.